and the entire picture was described in my deposition earlier. And as I said, I reserve the right to uh, increase the scope of my opinion, add additional opinions if I have more information. And I have since had more information. But you didn't report those changes to anyone, did you? I don't understand what you mean by report those changes to anyone. Tell somebody that you've changed your opinions. I, I never changed my opinion. I just increased the breadth of the opinion to include the fact that the Tarloff cyst surgery was necessitated by the accident. He received short-term relief and then has seen another provider in Florida who is now recommending the fusion surgery because of failure of the other surgeries and other interventions to help his pain. So when did you get all these other records, doctor? Uh, I think you'll have to ask counsel when they were sent. I don't have a, a timeline of when they were sent to me. You don't know when you got them? It's only within 30 days. Right, I can't tell you the exact day. Now, when you were talking today about the prior back pains that you've now learned about, you kept referring to those as muscle strains and because it seemed to be only soft tissue and it was a, uh, there was no radiculopathy. Do I have that right? That's correct. So when you look at the chart note from May 31st and also from June of 2017, wasn't that exactly the same findings that Dr. McFarland had on those occasions? Uh, it's true that there was back pain only, no radiculopathy. And then he eventually developed the numbness in the left foot over time. And the extent of the pain was much worse than ever before and more long lasting. It wasn't just an episodic event that occurred once in a while. It was pretty continuous uh, from May 2017 after that. It wasn't episodic. Well, when did the uh, radioticulopathy go down the left side, sir? The numbness in the foot I don't remember the first date that it was documented in the records, but it was after the accident, not before the accident. The other thing that developed after the accident, not before the accident, was the um, severe uh, testicular pain that was found to be likely related to the Tarloff cyst rather than any other pathology. That, that pain that was first complained about in November of 2018, sir? Yes. More than a year after the accident? That's correct. 